Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. An ally of administration standard bearer Mar Rojas compares other presidential bets to fruits. Laguna representative Dan Fernandez uses earthly humor to explain why he is supporting Rojas instead of other presidential candidates. Fernandez didn't spare Rojas from the fruit comparison. Si Mar Rojas, iya hamping ko sa isang bayabas na kung mamimili tayo, hindi maganda yung bayabas sa ating paningin. Sumalang so, pag iyong kinuwa at kinahin, magpapalakas ng iyong katawan. Yun si Mar Rojas. Kilala na natin ang Mar Rojas. Pero marami sa atin ang hindi nakakakilala kung ano talaga ang marogas sa tunay na buhay. Isa ako sa mga mapapalat na tao na napalapit kay marogas. Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte tells his supporters to make him their last option in the 2016 elections. The controversial mayor asks voters to take a look at other candidates and says in his words, don't consider me just yet, you'll just have a headache. But he adds, if you have thought about it well enough in the last week preceding the elections, you might want to consider me. Turning serious, Duterte describes the presidency as a tough job and says, quote, no one here can honestly say he can do it. After almost six years of hearings, the National Police Commission fires 20 cops and suspends 11 over the death of 58 people in the Maguindanao massacre. Napolcom says the inaction of 20 cops is equal to conspiring with Andal Ampatuan Sr. and his son Andal Unsai Ampatuan Jr., the primary suspects in the massacre. The massacre is considered the single deadliest event for journalists worldwide and the most violent election-related event in Philippine history. No criminal convictions have been made against the Ampatuans and their alleged accomplices. <laughs> The Philippine Senate and Congress Bicameral Committee approves the proposed 3 trillion peso national budget for 2016. Senator Legarda says they are confident President Benigno Aquino will sign the proposed budget into law before the holidays. Changes include a 1.2 billion peso increase in the budget for poor senior citizens and a 2.7 billion peso increase in the budget of state universities and colleges. <laughs> Russia fires at ISIS targets from a submarine stationed in the Mediterranean. Russian officials say their latest strikes hit, quote, 300 targets of different kinds in the past three days. Russia began to step up strikes against jihadist group ISIS after it claimed responsibility for bombing a Russian commercial plane in November. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch your updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.